My name is Joseph Manello. I work for a company called Compute Coin. I'm a business development associate, but I also help on the, let's say, technical journey of onboarding people to blockchain technology and Web3. I think the most important part is breaking it down to a fundamental level. So if we could find ways or narratives that a company or enterprise that I'm working with that they understand or they're familiar with, um, that's the biggest thing. A lot of times in Web3 we hear uh, Web2 user adoption, making things Web2 centric. And what that really means is at the user end, um, you could go to anybody on the street and say, hey, start using this application in an easy way. If we look at Web3 today, a lot of things are done in a command line interface or a black and white command prompt, and that could be very tempting to the uh, end user who is not familiar with the technology at all. I myself am not familiar with the move code. However, I started to look at the Aptos white paper, and I started to break down into some of the network. As a geek, I'm fundamentally impressed, and I'm excited to learn more. Our project is incubated by Ave Slayer, so I work pretty closely with the team. Um, and overall, Ave Slayer is going to be building a unique vision with a unique ecosystem, and it's you know amazing to come and sit at these events and network with individuals. The biggest element that ComputeCoin is focusing on is the ability to integrate storage for enterprises um, using these underlying blockchain fundamentals. So we have projects like Filecoin, we have projects like Storage with a J, so I'll reference as StoreJ. We have projects like Crust. There's thousands of other decentralized storage solutions, but they're all very challenging to integrate with. ComputeCoin provides one easy login interface. You don't have to worry about token transfers, and you could store whatever data you want um, on whatever particular blockchain you're interested in. So very drag, drag and drop methods similar to Dropbox. Um, very excited to carry out that project and continue the developments there. Um, I do sit on a couple of other projects. One that I would like to mention is Spawn, and they're also working closely with Ave Slayer, which is students passionate about Web3. Um, this is actually education-centric, very, very big on adding value of networking and education to students within Web3. Um, and I feel having that in the industry is a very, very fundamental infrastructure that needs to be built out. I'm very familiar with Definity. Definity and the developments at ICP are very, very fascinating. I know they're diving into some threshold networking to be very technical for a minute. Uh, very, very new technology. I'm excited to see how it rolls out. Would I say we're a competitor? I wouldn't say so much. Um, Definity is taking traditional parts of the technical stack that already exists um, and just implementing um, let's just say different words in different use cases of those parts. They are much more compute centric or smart contract centric so I would say not so much focusing on the storage and it may be a case where potentially I could meet the ICP team or Definity Foundation and integrate our storage and they could utilize it. Chain agnostic is the way to go at least subjectively <laughs> my opinion. I would say the biggest thing is as users have a demand for more privacy, um, that is where our storage element is focused. So I could be a user, I use Instagram, I understand when I sign the terms and condition, that 300 page contract, um, my data might be being sold or my privacy might be taken away. Uh, there are solutions that are being built that allow the power to actually come back into the user's hand. So I would say that's very much what I'm passionate about and excited about, and I can see the real value there. As far as intellectual property and other perspectives that you built upon, um, those are all important parts that are stored today on legacy uh, Web2 data centers and that infrastructure. And uh, while blockchain continues to be utilized, the technology, uh, we will see a major shift over to um, these new protocols and, and new methods of implementation. So it, it's, it's, it is a lot, it is a lot. And each one will have to be unique because each data set is its own particular thing that has to do a specific use case. So there might need to have an application specific blockchain for each use case, um, such as intellectual property. It may be different for videos. You know, I could go on and on. Keep learning, 
keep learning. That's it. <laughs>